Well, hi folks, and welcome to day 18 of our 28 day spring cleanup. Um, so yesterday we were talking about desire and intention and how desire has normally got some kind of attachment to the outcome, whereas an intention doesn't. So um, I might have a desire to get a million people to watch these videos. And if I don't get a million people, <laughs> nobody likes me. And I can get really despondent. Whereas if my intention is just to spread the word and help people help people, then I'm not attaching to the results. So there is a difference. So today we're going to play around or we'll look to further our understanding of detachment. So, let me see if I leave that there. So detachment. Now, how many times have we come across a situation or someone in our family has done something that really upsets us, which are you've really let me down? Well, of course, you know, that's not them. It's not their fault that they've let us down. That's ours because we've got an attachment on how they act and how they respond. And really, what we should be worrying about or focusing on is how we respond. Now, it doesn't mean if someone does something that you view as right or wrong, that you congratulate them or condemn them. Um, but how does that affect you? Because remember, this whole process is about you and improving your happiness and your quality of life. So if we've got certain attachments to how things should or shouldn't be done, and then somebody else has a different point of view, does imposing our point of view really help us? We might think that we're helping them, but are we? So today is all about detaching from the outcome. And once we detach, and we've not got that expectation, when things don't go according to plan, we can't get upset. I'm not saying you shouldn't have a plan, because of course we do. We've got goals, we've got aims. But remember, a dream that we kind of put into um, into some kind of written plan becomes a goal. And then a goal that's got a time scale to it or, or, or an action behind it can then become a reality. If we're then not attached and we're able to detach from the outcome, then we can really enjoy the journey, we can enjoy the ride, and we can enjoy everything and everyone that's around us. So how are we gonna implement this idea of detachment? Well, for today, I want you to let it go. You can sing that song if you want, let it go. So whenever anyone or anything that steps into your environment kind of confronts or conflicts with what you visualize and what you attach or desire the results to be, let it go. Know that everyone and everything is just right, just the way it is. And if someone is great and against you, what can we learn from that? What can we choose to grasp from that? And if we detach from it, that doesn't mean that we are being nonchalant about it. We're just able to detach from the outcome. So, count your blessings. That's always a good way to help bring things back to the name. Think of all the great things that you've got going on. Try that little minute of silence, a little bit of uh, meditation we've been working on for the last few days. And when you're in that state, relax, let it go. So relaxation and detachment are very, very similar. Because when we're attached to something, we're kind of uptight and tense. And when we detach and we relax, we let it go. So for today, try that. If someone cuts you up, let it go. If someone says something that vexes you, let it go. Detach from that. Because it doesn't matter how they're feeling or how they're reacting. How are we responding? Do we want to be in a peaceful, harmonious state? Well, yes, we do. So... Continuing with this idea of peacefulness and harmony, try and detach. All right, folks, have a good day. I'll catch you next time.